Hello and welcome to the highlights from the Tennis Premiership and Tennis National League. We're celebrating Robert Burns night in style with a full card of fixtures across all four tiers of Scottish rugby. To start with, we're in the Premiership for a Glasgow Derby at Balgray where Hawks hosted GHA. Both sides went into this one, one sitting in mid-table with Hawks chasing the playoffs and GHA with one eye cautiously behind them looking at the relegation zone. But on the day, as everyone knows, it's a derby and form goes out the window. Eric Cavan got the visitors off to the perfect start, purring over the whitewash to set up an easy conversion under the posts. One became two shortly after. Scott Derrick crashed over in the corner to give GHA a 12-0 lead with just 10 minutes on the clock. Happy. GHA were then awarded a penalty which George Baird kicked successfully to move the lead to 15 and that was the final score before the break. Into the second half and frustrations began to boil over for the home side. Matthew Stewart going to the bin for a high tackle. GHA finished off the tie in the final 10 minutes when Scott Palmridge burrowed over. Hawks did conjure up a consolation try on the full-time whistle when Paul Cairncross eventually went over, sparing some embarrassment for the hosts, but it was GHA who left Belgrade with a city bragging right and a deserved four points. Elsewhere in the Premiership, it was top against bottom at Rubislaw where Aberdeen took on Curry. Unfortunately for the home side, it was one-way traffic with Curry cruising to victory, scoring 13 tries to one. Moore came away with all five points at Stony Hill, despite having five yellow cards handed to them during a very stop-start encounter. Musselburgh will feel hard done by not to come away with any bonus points, despite playing very well. Edinburgh Ackies got the job done at Rayburn Place with a bonus point win against Selkirk. They had to wait until the final play of the day for that all-important fourth try, but their persistence paid off and secured a vital five points in their quest for a playoff spot. Two sides hoping to get their first wins of the year met at Riverside Park with Jed Forrest hosting Hoyk in a Barders derby. Andrew Mitchell scored a try in each half as Hoyk took control of the contest. Kirk Ford once again impressing off the tee with six successful strikes. The win for Hoyk means they only need one more point left to guarantee themselves a playoff spot. Curry, Marr and Edinburgh Ackies make up the top three and will all feature in the playoffs. In the bottom half, GHA's win lifts them above Selkirk, whilst Aberdeen's defeat means they will need a miracle to avoid the drop. Looking ahead to next week, and Hoyt can secure their place in the top four if they take a point at home to Musselburgh. Elsewhere, Selkirk entertain Glasgow Hawks, and it's second against third as Aki's take on Marr. To Tents National 1 now, and all 12 teams were in action at the weekend. Our coverage comes from Myerside, where Watsons welcome Highland. It was a home side who opened the scoring through Matthew McMillan. He scored this penalty from 40 metres out. But it was Highland who got the first try of the day. Junior Wakani Bout finished off this fast flowing move to score. But Watsonians hit back with another fast flowing move of their own. Matthew McMillan finishing off this one. Callum Carson put Highland back in front though, finishing off this one. Watsonians were then awarded a penalty try before Stuart Allison touched down from close range to give his side a 24-12 lead going into half time. Just as in the first half, Mac McMillan started the second half with another penalty for Watsonians. Highland hit back with a contender for a try of the round. Andrew Kellock played a 1-2 with the upright before touching down under the post. Ben Morris then reduced the deficit even further with this penalty.
Watsonians added the icing on their cake with the fourth try courtesy of Jamie Stove. He ran in unchallenged from about 30 metres out. Ben Morris pulled this penalty back for Highland, but it wasn't to be from the Highlanders. And Watsonians got their second win of the year, making it 10 points from 10 in 2022. Elsewhere in 10th National 1, with Watsonians winning, it meant there was a lot of pressure on Burr Muir, who took on Sterling at Bridgehall. It was another close game, but ultimately Sterling came out on top, winning by two points in the end. Gala maintained their impressive form with another win against Dundee. The Tayside team put up a solid fight and left the Borders with a losing bonus points for their efforts. It was a low scoring encounter at Bigger, but the home side did what they needed to do and held their nerve to secure their fifth win on the spin. On the West Coast, it was another two-point game where Ayr entertained Harriet's. Harriet showed why they are top of the league, coming out on top in another nail-biting finish. Melrose got their fourth win on the road. They were in cruise control against Carthur, who never got going at Dunbreck. The win for Melrose lifts them above Ayr and up into sixth but with a couple of games in hand on the teams above them. Harriet's Bigger and Gala stay where they were in the top three. At the bottom, it is all to play for, and there's increasing daylight between Watsonians and Burmuir, and the Myerside men will have their eyes set on catching Dundee and Cartha above them. Looking ahead to next week now, and two sides in need of the win meet at Megaland, where Burmuir hosts air, and across the city, Harriet's take on Kelso, and Gala are at Watsonians. In Tennis National 2, the battle for promotion is hotting up with all of the top four winning this week. Falkirk's promotion push suffered a blow, however. They lost to Glasgow Ackies. At the bottom, Gordonians got a huge win in their fight for survival, beating Hamilton to move themselves above Kirkcaldy. Next week sees the top two go head-to-head -head as Stuart's Melville travel to GHK, and Preston Lodge will look to continue their fine start to 2022. They are on the road taking on Newton Stewart. In 10th National 3, it was heartbreak for Berwick as a late try from Howard Fife took the four points away from their grasp. Shathmore also cut it fine with a 12-11 win over Greenock Wanderers. Last Wade remained unbeaten with a comfortable victory over Ardrossan, making it 12 wins from 12 this season, with two games in hand over second place west of Scotland. They'll be hoping to make it 13 in a row when they take on Hillhead Jordan Hill. That's everything for this week. In the spirit of Robert Burns, a toast to all 46 teams who are in action at the weekend. Lang may that continue. Don't forget the Women's Tennis Premiership final is on Saturday. That's at Myerside where Hillhead, Jordan Hill make the trip to take on Watsonians. Best luck to both teams playing in that one and we'll see you all again next week.